Hey guys, welcome back to Nelly Nummies. Today I have a really easy recipe for you guys to make for dinner. It's one that only takes a handful of ingredients and all you have to do is throw in the crock pot and let it go. And that recipe today is barbecue pork ribs, more specifically country style ribs. Now these are a little different than your usual baby back ribs that you might get at your favorite barbecue joint. These are very meaty and actually doesn't even come from the rib part at all from the pig. It's more from the shoulder blade area. And if you cook it low and slow enough, it's very tender and falls apart and it's so tasty. Let's get started. So the first few things you're gonna need are your country style ribs. You're also gonna need some garlic powder, salt, pepper, onions. Onions are optional and if you don't wanna use raw onion like I'm using, you can do onion powder instead or minced dried onions. Uh, a can of cola. I'm just using an eight ounce can, but you can use a regular 12 ounce can that you get in the big cases. I recommend unflavored regular cola, not cherry. I mean, you can try cherry cola or vanilla, but your ribs might taste a little funky, but whatever floats your boat, <laughs> go for it. And then you're gonna need a cup and a half of your favorite barbecue sauce. You can use homemade or store-bought. I'm lazy and I also don't have a homemade recipe that I like, so we're gonna use store-bought. All right, so the next thing we need to do, grab our crock pot and we're gonna start throwing everything in. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna take our barbecue sauce, which is one and a half cups, our can of cola, and we're gonna combine them. That's always a satisfying noise. Oh, I startled Bonnie with that noise. She's sitting in her tree and she looked up all like, what the heck is that? Okay, we're gonna combine the two. Now we're just gonna carefully stir this without causing it to fizz over. That's probably good enough, okay? And we already have our onions. Our onions we're gonna want sliced into strips like this. You can also finely dice it if you want, but I was feeling lazy. Next, we're gonna take our crock pot. In your crock pot, you're gonna to wanna to spray it with some nonstick spray. You could also use a liner. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ribs and we're gonna layer everything in there. Um, and the ribs do have some bone meat, or bone meat. The ribs do have some bone in them. So we have one layer of meat here. Now we're going to season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Pepper. And garlic powder. Okay, and then if you want, we can flip these and season the other side. Next, we're gonna pour over some of the sauce. Not all of it, just enough to kind of get these guys coated here. And then once we get that coated in a little bit of the sauce, we're gonna layer on a bit of onion. And we're gonna repeat this until we don't have any more ribs or sauce. Then from this stage here, we're going to cover it. Take the lid, cover it, and then I'm gonna go plug this in and you can cook this on low for eight to 10 hours. Or if you're like me and I'm short on time, we're gonna cook it on high for about three to four hours. Maybe a little bit more, we'll see. Great news guys, the ribs are done. So the next thing we need to do, now that they've been slow roasting for about six hours or so, is we're gonna grab a cookie sheet or an oven safe sheet. I lined it with parchment paper just to make cleanup easy a pair of tongs so I don't burn myself when pulling stuff out. And then we're gonna 
try and pick these out. And the good news is they're definitely tender because I have the ribs that are on, or the, the bones falling right off. And I'm just gonna take a few out just to show you guys what's next. As I'm taking them out, you'll see they're not really saucy looking like what you get at a barbecue joint or even if you make it on the smoker or the grill. And that's because they've just been stewing away in the sauce in the crock pot. So it hasn't really been able to get sticky, but there's a way to fix that if you want. But first I'm gonna take a few more out of this delicious sauce and don't throw the sauce out right away. If you have leftovers, you can put these guys back in that sauce that's in there and they'll help keep them moist and just keep them marinating in that all that flavor that you've developed here. So that's enough for now. And I've just decided to leave some, some of the onion on them or next to them. I still have a few left in the crock pot, but this is enough for what we need right now. So these are our ribs. As you can see, they're nicely cooked through. They're pretty tender. It doesn't take much that these would fall apart. I just was poking it and it's about to break apart. Yep, there we go. Pretty easy. So it's done and it's very tender. But if you want that nice sticky barbecue sauce on there like we always like, or at least what I like on my ribs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit more of our barbecue sauce. This is just straight up barbecue sauce, no soda or pop mixed in. We're gonna take some of this, brush it on. Go ahead and be as liberal as you want with it. Smear it on. And you can eat it just like this. Or if you want to try and give it a little bit of a crisp edge and sticky texture, we're gonna stick this under the broiler, so in the oven, there's a broil, set, broil setting usually. And the broil setting, it's uh, typically just the top uh, heating element that turns on at a very high temperature, probably about 550 degrees Fahrenheit, if I remember correctly. And it cooks it very fast. And we're not gonna wanna put this under there for very long, just for a couple minutes. Do not leave the kitchen when you're doing this because you will, if you leave it too long, it will burn and you don't want burnt ribs. Not in this case, we're not making burnt ends, which is a thing in the barbecue business, but these aren't the good kind. So these are all done. I'm going to get my oven turned on here. So broil, start, and that's getting heated up here. So I'm gonna be putting these under the broiler for about two to three minutes. We're gonna cook this under there just until we see this kind of starting to get a little sticky, maybe a little darker color on top, but no more than that. If it starts burning, take it out immediately. This is just gonna help give us a little bit more texture to our ribs, like what we have when we have normal baby back ribs. And this part is completely optional. You don't have to do this at all. You can eat it straight from the crock pot and it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. This is just an extra step if you want a little bit of that caramelized barbecue sauce on top. So I will be back in a few minutes and I'll be sticking this right in the oven. And they're done. So I just got them out of the oven. I was starting to smell just a little bit of a burning smell, which I noticed is mostly Mostly just the paper, the parchment paper that I used. But these are a little bit more like what we were going for. A little more traditional rib. They're not your baby back ribs, but you are definitely getting your money's worth with all that yummy meat. I mean, look at that. It's so good and it's just, it's super tender. You're not gonna need a knife at all. So these turned out a lot better than I expected they would. And I'm very happy about that because I want to share good food with you guys. Now, before this gets too much colder, I'm going to dip a little bit in the extra barbecue and I'm going to have a taste. Mm hmm. Good. <laughs> this is good food. 
I've been missing going to a barbecue joint. I haven't been to one in over a year, as I'm sure quite a few people might be able to empathize. So this really hits the spot for me. Obviously it's not gonna be like your baby back ribs where you get the satisfaction of chewing it off the bone. And it's a little bit different type of meat. It's tender, it's fatty, which when it comes to a slow cooked meat, that's good because this is still moist. It's not dried out, it's not overcooked. It's just the perfect doneness. This could be a more diverse dish than you think. While I was sampling this, I thought about, hmm, that'd be a really good sandwich for lunch tomorrow. Have a little nice, soft, tender hamburger bun or brioche bun, pretzel bun, bread. I like bread, guys. <laughs> Have this on a nice piece of bread with a little of extra barbecue sauce and some pickles that I like at least. If you don't like pickles, don't worry. You could even have a little extra onions, fresh onion even, or some of the extra cooked onions that are in here yet. Have that as a sandwich for lunch tomorrow. Good, good stuff. I might do that tomorrow. And then I might eat it for dinner. I might be eating a lot of ribs for the next couple days. And you can use the same recipe for baby back ribs if you want. You're just gonna have a shorter cooking time in the crock pot, probably. You can get by with cooking on low for maybe six hours, maybe less. You don't have as much meat to work with on baby back ribs, so it's gonna cook faster. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys get to try these ribs and I hope you enjoy it. And I look forward to cooking with you all again. And please be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Take a deep breath and celebrate even the tiniest victories. Even if it's just making a grocery list. You're doing good. I look forward to cooking with you guys again. I'll see you again next time. Bye.